another hot day outside. I'm kind of glad we're inside right now. Mm -hmm. yeah. Greg Herrera's got the scorching temperatures that are still to come. Yeah, we'd, especially tomorrow, we will see these temperatures come up another five degrees from where we were today, and you can feel it out there. A lot of people staying in tomorrow, probably a lot of the same. We'll start off with a shot right over La Jolla, where highs today got up to 85 degrees in La Jolla. Tomorrow, you're closer to 90, and we're going to see some heat not only along the coast, but of course, well inland. So this heat will be with us. Tomorrow's going to be the hottest day. Places like Santee here are going to get uh, pretty warm tomorrow. Places like Santee will be closer to 100 degrees, so we'll watch for these places tomorrow. Borrego Springs 110. At this hour, lots of 90s still on the map. Escondido, Poway, El Cajon, Rancho Bernardo. You've got lots of 90s on there right down through Mission Valley. We're closer to the upper 80s. Uh, Borrego Springs 103. We've got this big ridge of high pressure, and it is a block, a Rex block is what we call it. So this big bubble of hot air starting to set up right around this ridge of high pressure, and the jet stream basically goes up and over this, and it's very strong and very pronounced. So any storms that want to come in get blocked by this and sent well over. So through tomorrow, tomorrow will be the hottest day. At the coast, we're near 90 degrees. Inland numbers, look at this, close to 101 in some of the warmer spots, and hotter spots is what we should say. Humidity down to about 9% in some of the dry spots, and the winds will be out of the east at 5 to 10 miles per hour, so the winds are not going to be quite as gusty as they could be. This is why we're not seeing those red flag warnings. If we had some stronger winds coming through, then we would probably see those red flag warnings. With this in place and those storms not doing much damage to break this down, it's not until Wednesday and Thursday that we start to see some cooling. So Tuesday will still be pretty hot, but not as hot. Monday will be the hottest day. Here's the 10 news temperature future cast and notice by 7 a.m. tomorrow, the coast is already starting off in the 70s. We're seeing some 70s in some of the warmer spots and watch this as the colors get uh, brighter and more intense. 100 degrees by 2 o'clock El Cajon, some of the warmer spots all in the purple there will be close to 100 by the time we get to about 4 and 5 in the afternoon when we reach our record highs. And remember, we don't have a lot of sunshine. The angle's a little bit lower this time of year, and we don't have as much daylight as we have in the sun, uh, summertime. It's still enough heat, though, to get us to 100 degrees. Your overnight lows into the 60s. Your highs tomorrow, Poway, 101, Escondido, 101, La Mesa, 98. So look at all the triple degree readings on there. Some of the places I think that we'll see some records tomorrow. San Diego's record is 93, so I think we'll be close to it. Ramona's record is 105. I'm going 101. Oceanside at the airport, 93, so we could tie it. And Campo's record is 100. I'm going 99. So watch for some of these places to drop tomorrow, some of these record highs. Along the coast tomorrow, 90s. Still staying with mid and upper 80s Tuesday and Wednesday. Notice Thursday, the breeze comes back, and so does the fog. Inland numbers were still in the upper 90s on Tuesday, Wednesday still in the 90s, and Thursday again this is our transition day. So right now we got these sunny days and these cloudless nights. So yeah. a big difference there. Big difference in the overnight lows. Wow. If there's a silver lining, it's the lack of humidity. You got it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Thanks.